Hello my superstar. You welcome to another interesting topic in cultural and environmental studies. And today you will be learning about bank and banking. Yes. I know you've heard of the word bank and I will also want to assume that you've been to any of the banks, maybe with daddy, mommy, or any of your relatives to do any of the transactions in the bank. So let's start with the first word there, bank. What is a bank? Okay. A bank is a place where money and other valuable items are saved. A bank is a place where money and other valuable items are saved. And we can also take a loan that is borrowed money from the bank. Okay? We also keep jewelry, vital documents such as will and house documents are some of the things we can keep in the bank. And you can open a savings account or a current account with any bank of your choice. And with a correct account, you will get a checkbook with which you can withdraw money from your account anytime you need it. And there are other benefits you enjoy when you start saving in a bank. For example, you can start to get loan when you start saving in a bank and do all the foreign exchanges. Okay? So next, here you will be learning about the different types of bank. Okay, so we have the central bank. The central bank of Nigeria is called the Apex Bank and it controls and monitors the activities of other banks. And there's only one in the country. The next is the commercial banks. Examples are the First Bank, the Women Bank. All banks in your localities are all commercial banks. Then the microfinance bank, they are established to give loans to people in small or medium scale businesses. The development banks, examples are Nigeria Industrial Development Bank, is NIDB and as well the Federal Mortgage Bank. Lastly, the fifth one is the Merchant Bank. And they provide capital or large companies, they provide capitals to large companies through selling of shares. Now let's learn the next word there, which is banking. So banking refers to the different activities or transactions that take place in the bank. And these include saving, withdrawing, borrowing, transfer money, refunding the money, paying the interest, and so many more. Okay? So, do not forget that bank and banking are two different ways that are related. While bank is a place where money and other valuable items are saved, Banking refers to all of the transactions, the different transactions or activities that take place in the bank. Okay? And when you save money in the bank, you are opportunity to take a loan from the bank. And you can also do foreign exchange with foreign currencies from the bank. Okay? Now... I repeat, there are five different types of banks in Nigeria, okay, and they have their different specific purposes. The central bank, the commercial bank, the microfinance bank, the development bank, and as well the merchant bank, okay. And the central bank is called the Apex Bank, it controls and monitors the activities of other banks. There's only one in the country. 
Now let's look at how to open a bank account. How to open a bank account. So a bank will need the following before opening an account for a customer. Before you can open an account in the bank, they will need you to have the following. The first is a passport size photograph. The second is particulars to identify the person opening the account. For example, you have to have an identity card, traveling passport, driver license and so on. The next is utility bill like electricity bill and water bill. Then a signature, the signature of the person opening the account. And if you're an old customer of the bank, to identify the new customer while opening the current account, an old customer will have to identify the new customer. So when you submit all of these in the bank, you will be given a checkbook, an account number, a deposit book, an ID card, and an automated teller machine, which is the ATM. And this will enable you to use the ATM machine. Now, what are the advantages of saving money in the bank? For safety, it is safer when you keep money in the bank. To obtain loan, when you save money in the bank, you can obtain loan. Then provision for the future. Saving money in the bank allows you to keep money for the future. Then when you save money in the bank, it's going to yield profit or interest. So all of these are the advantages of saving money in the bank. Okay, for safety, number one, number two, to obtain loans. Number three, for provision for the future. Then number four, interest or profit yield. Okay, so the next is the importance of saving. The importance of saving to obtain or to plan for the future. Okay, then to prevent wastefulness and to keep our money from being stolen. Then what are the other ways of saving money? By buying shells or properties such as land and housing, Corporate society, you can join the corporate society, then saving money with a trusted money collector, then keeping money with people of high integrity, that's people that you can trust, maybe family relation, provided it is a person you can trust. So all of these are other ways of saving money in the bank. Okay then, I do trust that you have a lovely time learning about bank and banking. So when you visit the bank, you already know some or most of the transactions that are done in the bank and some of the things, the particulars, the requirements.